Hi there. So it's about that time of week that we sit down and flex our art muscles. My name is Danny, and this is Draw With Me. So, um, I didn't really have any plans today. I'm kind of having a lesser inspiration day, so that's fun. So I think the plan is to just maybe do some doodling, fill a sketchbook spread, and yeah, I think that's a pretty good way. Um, if you want to draw along, that's great. There you go. Hopefully you can see any of this because I like to draw in a color erase pencil. I think I'm using what I'm using right now. Carmine. Carmine Red. Um, I just like these because I'm left-handed. <laughs> so I smudge graphite all over the place and also I find these super forgiving because you can sketch really lightly which is great. So let me just look. I don't think I have any plans. Uh, I think we'll basically just start... I'm gonna grab my tablet. And on Pinterest to maybe get some ideas of some poses. Maybe just do a general character design. As I said, I don't really have much inspiration or anything right now. But it's been a couple days since I've drawn and I should probably do that. So yeah. I actually have some stuff saved, so maybe there's something I can use in there that's similar to the one that I had found earlier. Go and check that out. Mm -hmm. I just want something simple. Uh, so, like I said, I haven't drawn in a couple of days, so it's probably not going to be great. It's probably going to be pretty stiff. And I'm just trying to warm up a little bit. I would suggest doing that. It's always going to be really stiff the first time you put something down. I find like that first drawing of the day is like, ugh. It just doesn't look right. I don't know why, but there's always something wrong about it. And then the more you go along in your spread, the freer it kind of gets. Although using references obviously does help, so sometimes I'll just do that right off the bat to kind of get some inspiration. Mm, maybe use something like this. I do have a character. It wouldn't really be a new character design. I do have a character that I kind of will want to revisit. Who's a flower seller, so maybe we'll do that. See, I don't think these are really... It gives me an idea, though, that I want to go back to that character, so that's good. I don't think the poses are really dynamic enough to use in any real way. There's only three of them. <coughs> so maybe... I'll go with... I've got a skirt, so I'm trying to stay away from scrunchy poses because I mean, that's never fun for me personally. It's something I need to work on. I don't like clothes that much. It's not my favorite thing to draw. <laughs> so, um, geez. let's just let's just use these. This is kind of similar to I guess I guess to what I was thinking of before. It's not quite as kind of more of a hand on hips generic pose, but kind of perspective was like this, so I'll use that. So I think I'm going to redraw this character because this was kind of a lazy day. I don't like any of these sketches, but I love the character. Except for this one, I kind of I like this sketch, it's super cute. Not that you can see it really, but um, anyways, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that character. My name is Liza, and I think she's like, she's like kind of a cross between like Aerith and like Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. I definitely played that game and watched those movies in quick succession when I made that character. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do some clothes. I might do that kind of end one with the head looking down but with her hands on my hips, I think. 
And also, this is a 8 by 8 sketchbook, which is very, very small for me. It is not my favorite size. I prefer like a little bit bigger, maybe like a 10 by 10. Um, so I was just trying to push myself to like learn how to draw smaller, I guess, because I used to draw like really, really big. It wasn't always the most helpful thing. So here we are on the opposite side of the spectrum. And it is not really enough. So I think we're just going to start. And as I said, I haven't really warmed up. It's been a couple days. It's already feeling like super stiff and I've drawn ahead. So I'm really going to... I'm at an awkward angle. I'm, re I'm not used to drawing on a flat surface. I usually have it on an angle. So I have to fix my perspective. That's fun. Alrighty. Try that again. I was a little bit more down than I thought it was going to be. Back, keep it round. Change over here. Da -da. Just look at that one. Right. Put some ears in. I find it really helps to just really like move quick. I don't know if anybody has drawn um, like gestures in an art class or anything like that. That's essentially what you want to start with to kind of loosen up your wrists because otherwise it's just going to be too stiff. So really just kind of play with that movement and don't worry about anything but that. Right now, start with the simple shapes, just how everything's going to be flowing. So the shoulders going to be up here. Got one arm. Oh, and I said I wanted to put the hands on the hips. So we'll do that. That and... That. So, uh, looks like she's kind of jutting out her hip a little bit. That's fun. So if she's jutting it out, then her life will probably be out a little bit. That. And this is why I say I like a little bit bigger of a sketchbook. <laughs> I have literally just it's the bottom of the feet. I really gotta work on my sizing. I just find it hard. I like to put a lot of detail into like my expressions and faces and stuff. And obviously when things are in an 8x8, that's a little bit harder to do if you're doing a full size character instead of just a bust or something like that. That's fine. So, take this into that. Um, let's see what get the knee to do. That, okay, so that works. And then we'll have that leg over here. And that's kind of also, I guess, kind of driving it in this way. But so, she actually kind of looks a bit sassy in this picture. In this sketch already. She's not really a sassy character, at least not that I would picture. She's definitely more like Sophie. <laughs> if you know what that character is from Hell's Moving Castle. Kind of picture her a little bit more like that. So I guess she's kind of sassy. Never mind, I take that back. Do both of our feet come in inwards like that because I just think that's a cute pose. Put her other hand in there so you know where that's supposed to be. And then chest. And so that's good. We kind of got like a little bit of a upward angle. Like it. And then alright. So I like that. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I like it. I think you can. That's cool. Awesome. Okay. So that. And let's see. So her outfit. I should flip back a little bit. Let's see. You like this one the best, although well, you can't really see it at all. So well, I think it's you know I pretty much. 
kept the same design idea all the way through, I'm pretty sure. Other than the shoes. I may have changed the shoes. No, no, the same. And she's got glasses. Right. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's start with her hair. Originally, I had put like all of these like, mm, like curls, I guess, like pin curls in, but still fastened, like an updo. But that's kind of giving me some difficulties to draw. And usually, if that's the case, it's better to just scrap the idea and do something better that you can draw over and over again. So maybe we'll just start with like a messy kind of thing that will go into her braid. Because I like the braid. I'm not I'm not taking my braid, which I guess I should probably put the shape of her braid in so I know where that's going to be. Take dynamics properly. Ooh, that's a good start. Alright. I don't know about that. Here's a cut. Not sure. Not sold on that. I'll take that out. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so she has got a high collar. And like the, I think maybe the only thing that I'm not sold on about her outfit is these like ruffly kind of sleeves that I gave her. Because, I don't know, sometimes they can be a little tricky. Even bad, it's just, they don't always look the best. I'm really not going to be able to see anything good because not really refining it right now. That's always the part that I struggle with. It's refining the sketch when I like it a lot and putting like clothes on it because I like the shape. Oh, I just realized I haven't been talking. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, so I'm not used to it. Focus. Alright. So this arm is all up, that one's all down. So let's remember that. Definitely was gonna not remember that. Let's add in this. Alright. I think that's better. And then we can add this. So she's got that type of thing going on. And then this is the part not, I guess, I'm entirely sold on. So I originally did like this, ooh, that's definitely too low, um, this type of bodice, uh, I don't honestly know what it's called, I should probably look that up, but the type of bodice that kind of goes down into a triangle, into the skirt, into a point, um, kind of like ruffles out, so I thought it was super cute, but now, now I'm not so sure because you lose so Alright, sorry about that, my camera died. Um, anyway, so... Where are we here? Yeah, so we're just stitching her out. Um, the one thing I want to revisit about this is... Let's see, I think I originally gave her, like, along with the ruffly things, some sort of, like, puffy... Yeah, she has, like, some sort of, like, puffy sleep thing. I think, it, I think it still makes sense. I'm just trying to make sure that everything in this outfit actually like makes some sort of sense and it's not just like random lines. Like they all have a reason and a place for being there. I was worried if I just had these roughly sleeves in. Oops. Like these things that like these would be redundant, but because I have like the blouse underneath, it actually still all works out, I think. And so here's like my problem is that I like like the 
the shape of like everything underneath and so I find it really hard to put clothes over top. This always bumps me out like you're, you're losing all that like kind of like definition that you put in there. But this character has a skirt so or she's wearing rather like kind of like some sort of maybe like early 1900s dress. And I want to keep it that way. I think because I my my cop out here is that I always end up doing like um, something tight and short that will show off the form or pants or something like that instead of like a really cute skirt because I am not very good at drawing that and I'm already struggling like I'm trying to figure out okay where is the shape so. Maybe if we just give it some life. I hate drunk clothes so much. So I got some like references here, but I think the problem is, is like I'm trying to be too detailed with it. Or maybe I'm thinking, like imagining it in my brain a little bit too detailed. So it's not gonna work very well. I just wanna keep it simple. And then I originally gave her boots, like little, um, can you see any of this? I don't know how great that looks, but whatever. I'm kind of over it. It's a sketchbook. That's its purpose. It's to not look awesome all the time. All right. So here's her legs. Um, uh, so I originally gave her like these boots. This type of boot, knee high kind of things with the straps on the side. So I'm gonna keep that for now. If I don't like it, I can change it maybe to like a boot, a booty. Okay, that's it. I'm kind of sold on. That's what I'm doing for the outfit. Um, it hasn't really changed. I think I had a pretty good understanding of what I wanted from that before. Um, yeah, she looks like she's kind of being sassy. I haven't even given her flowers, which is funny because that's her thing is a flower seller. And I'm pretty sure in every other thing that I've drawn her in, I've given her some sort of flower or a basket of flowers that she is selling as a flower seller. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't done that in this one, and I probably am not going to. So, oh my god, trunk truck with you stuck in my head. Well, it is my life. Where did I go? Okay, got little floofies, maybe for kind of floofy hair. When I'm doing curly hair, I really like to just like go crazy. I don't know what that is. It's just fun. It's just super fun to draw. I think that's basically what it boils down to. Uh, and I also don't tend to give my characters top lips. Don't know what that's about. Just don't. I feel like it makes my drawings look different. A different style. Not that I really have much of a style, but you know. She kind of has like a, a Merida feeling now. Which honestly wasn't my first thought, but that's kind of cute. I don't mind that. So we're getting somewhere here with our little character that I wanted to. Alright, so my camera died again, so that's a good omen about what is to come. <laughs> um, so I'm feeling pretty stiff still. I'm not really in love with this drawing here, and usually it's time to move on because I'm not really making anything different. I'm just going over and over and over lines that I've put in. So it's just, yeah, it's time to move on to a different drawing. Um, I kind of like the difference in her hair here from when I originally had it kind of like more pinned back. But I feel like I'm not, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if maybe it's like the length of her skirt 
or something. Maybe the style. I'm not really sure, but she's looking like a lot younger than I had originally planned on her looking. And she's not supposed to be like, I don't know, I feel like she looks like she's like 15 or something here and she's really not supposed to be that age. So we're gonna move on and alrighty so um, I do want to work on the outfit more but I kind of want to do more of her face so maybe I'll just do kind of like a close-up here just to refine her hairstyle a little bit more maybe I can make her look a little more mature I don't really think it's the face that's, well, it might be, but I think it's mostly the skirt length. Maybe I should try and bring it like down here. Um, we'll try it, but I'm going to start with just like a face. Um, oh, all right. Uh, I'll see if we can just get anything, maybe an expression that we can picture her doing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna use one of these. Why not? Probably got some inspo from that. Mm, kind of liking this one. Just kind of looking sassy and slimy, coy, I guess. It's kind of at the angle that I was wanting to draw that. So let's just do something simple. I find that if I haven't practiced, or if I haven't like done anything in a while, it's a really good way to warm up. It's just referencing reference photos. And I keep in mind that her hair is up here, so let's bring that down. Mm, here over mm. okay. So that's not too high still. But, you know, Shrink it a little bit and bring it down. Okay, I'm just gonna get the general shape. Duh. I like the ears, I always put the ears on my people. I don't know why, I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. So like for example, probably shouldn't be able to see this here realistically, but I'm gonna put it in there because I think it adds a little something something. I just think it's cute. Let me soften this up. And hairline. Uh, yeah, that's something that I kind of have to figure out. Because when I'm doing messy hair, I just kind of put lines on and then when it comes to refining it, it's always difficult. Because I'm not paying much attention. Alright, there we go. That's our framework for our bust. Ha ha ha. Ear definition, and I think so. This didn't really end up as um, expressive of a facial pose. I kind of originally anticipated, but that's okay. I'm gonna draw that in with some eyebrows. And maybe she's kind of like, what? Like incredulous about something. Yeah, so because I'm kind of making, I'm gonna make her kind of smirk, like I said, an incredulous kind of look to her. I'm going to just kind of angle the nose up just a little bit. That it's just some shadow, so I can keep that in mind. Do that. Um, maybe 
maybe like a pursed type thing. Yeah, I, cause I, like the one thing about this like eyebrow, it's hard for me to be like, it doesn't look angry. I feel like it always looks angry. So here we go. Face expression, upward turned. Thing. I usually don't give characters like top lips. I'm not really sure why. I just don't. It's not necessarily my style. But maybe that I know that like obviously that helps them look a little older. Something like that. So I think we're just going to yeah, got to look kind of on the side. And maybe we'll actually put some flowers in this one. Just checking through. It's kind of what the idea behind the character was. On this one, I think I'm gonna focus on the outfit. Then anything else? Let's just a little bit of a face shape. Um, ear. Tending her stall. <clears throat> Put leg and one of them going forward. I'm going to make the other one just standing normally. doesn't really matter too much about the top of the legs, as long as they kind of make sense that it would be perfect. Because there you end it all be covered. Mm -hmm. um, and there. And then I'll just take it there. Take it out. I feel like we're definitely going to point it. This one. This one could be just coming down normally. Maybe just a bit back to kind of offset. Oh, wait. And this part. And this one would be pretty flat. And it just be going this way. Do -do -do. Okay. So she definitely does look way less childish now. So that's good. I think it was definitely just she's too like yeah, I just drew her proportions too short and thick. I think it wasn't like slender enough so she looks younger. Oh, so, maybe on. So I've got that. I've got her 
Maybe she's having a hard day, not selling many flowers. It's a hard business. So let's focus on her everything and keep the other hand down. So I'm not gonna really worry about that right now. So I'm gonna focus on the outfits. I think we got a framework. I want to leave the bird going down backwards. I think I should normally I'd put it out here, but just to fill up that spot of the page, we'll do it that way. And do our this, which we going down to the center. Make a point. Thing is, oh, and I also realized that she has glasses that I have totally neglected to put in each and every time. Uh, I just forgot. So that's fun. So I feel like that's too far back if we do it that way. Okay, she's got that. You're really not going to be able to see any of the detail on that part, but that's fine because that part's pretty much laid out. It's kind of not changing much, I don't think. I'm happy with it. Sleeves. That. A little bit of detail on the bodice, and then this would come down here as well. We've got that thing going on. So, boop. And then, boop. And so then we'll do the roofies. I think I originally was like, I want to make it longer, like maybe down to like this length. And I guess you really would be able to see. He that she's bending her knee in a skirt like this. It's pretty full. We'll just kind of try see if we can lead to that a little bit at least. Let's put shoes. Well, I think I do kind of like that better. I'll just leave it like this. I do like like the longer length. So we're gonna keep that. Good enough. All right. So that. I think that's pretty much good. I do like the kind of change that I made. For the outfit. Mm -hmm. Let's see the lines here. We've got the house. Going in. Do, 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 do. Big of a fan of the side profile of that. So let's bring 
this up. And then we'll make it a little smaller, I think. this point with the character design. Fingers. Always <clears throat> is here. Put that out like that. And that was cut here. And then you can see a little bit of that there. Glasses in. Because <laughs> I forgot. Oh, this one's cute. She looks like she's having a bad day though. <laughs> to buy my flowers. really holding. I'm thinking it's probably like some sort of stall that she's got or something. So yeah. That's all right. And okay. So I think I'm going to do maybe a couple more like face things down here. Expression shots. Um, excuse me. I have to pull the racial shavings off. It's one problem with not liking needed erasers is the dastardly shavings everywhere. Blech. But my husband always gets mad at me. He's like, there's eraser shavings everywhere. Yeah, sorry about that. I try and keep it on my desk or my lap pad. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do just maybe a couple of expression shots, something a little more dynamic. Cause I got like this like sassy look thing going. I guess she's looking kind of sad over here. She's looking like a child over there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's like her kid sister who looks the exact same. That doesn't make any sense. She just doesn't look right here. So, uh, just a Pinterest thing up here with some expressions. And I'm <laughs> just using Christian Stewart. Cause she has like this expression actually a lot of actresses it's a good resource on pinterest if you go through it i think a lot of actors and actresses will have expression like wheels i guess so i'm just using that one so i think i want to do something like that so we'll see how this goes and oh i'm gonna add the glasses over here because I forgot she's supposed to have glasses and I will like it. I think it's cute. There's her glasses. And I'll leave them off the one on the left because I don't really like that drawing anyway. So we're just kind of turning it. It's not 
there. Ha ha ha. Oh boy. Alright, anyways, so yeah. Um we'll do that. <clears throat> so our head's like down, so we'll just do a general shape first. more up than they, well, maybe they just look more up on this photo. I'll just replicate that because it is a photo reference. So her ears are here. Maybe shouldn't have picked this expression because she's got hands. Hey! I will write on her face. It's not typically something I do. <laughs> okay, and then this one. Do. So they're really soft. Definitely don't go out that far. That maybe. Maybe down a little bit more. I feel like it's not quite. If watching me draw shows anything is that it is a process. Yes. It never looks good. You could never tell. Anything could turn out good when you look at how it starts on the huh. huh. Alright, shoulders, slouchy, slouchy, fun and bears. Yeah. So, that definitely is. Her shoulders are way too low still when I'm looking at the photo. They're more like she's like halfway up her face, so I think I should elongate her face a little bit. We'll move everything up. Face to do. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it down to like here, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. Ready, that. Then we have our shoulders here. Yeah, that's better. That. Oh no, I'm so embarrassed. I'm not really sure what she'd be embarrassed about, but here we are. And yeah, I understand that these are oven mitts for hands. That's where we start. That is good enough for that. And oh, I keep slanting this. That's my bad. Let's try and fix that. There we go. Just move closer. That's my fault. Okay. Ears. So let's start putting some of these facial features. So her hands actually kind of come up above her eyebrows. Eyebrows are surprised. I'll do that. Surprise eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Well, they're 
Crumbs may go quite a bit up. So that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> nose, and then our nose is like down here. Like that. <laughs> and a little cute little embarrassed smile. Okay, we definitely have to squint the front of her eye a little bit. Gosh, these things are so annoying when the eraser gets low that I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm sure I may needed one around somewhere. I'm just going to squint and squint. So we have that, so she's looking a little bear is like, oh no. And I get glasses. So I kept forgetting those before apparently. Not really giving me the vibe of the photo. So let's try. So we're going to move these hands because this is a whole big new hands up there. So I know when to call it quits and it's not working. So we're going to move them. Still kind of in the same facial position though. Yeah. Fix that up. Give her some face back. Ears, up here. Thank She kind of looks like she's like bending over to talk to a kid. Maybe she's offering a kid a flower. So let's put a hand down here. And we'll just do a So, okay. turns out we're only going to get one more sketch on this page. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay, no problem though. I don't mind. Okay. That 
that. So we'll add in her hair. And she's got her little collar here. On it. So she's got ruffles here. Same over here. But uh, she's got her regular sleeves underneath. So my plan is to ignore this hand as long as possible. And that's how I roll. <laughs> All right, let's put her hair in. So we're giving her this crazy kind of curly thing, which works for me. Strand over there, purple sleeves. So we can tell what the heck they're supposed to be. All right. And then so we've got something like that. And she's got her little hair. Okay. Where should we put her little? Brood. I guess we can put it kind of coming down this way. I don't really know what I want to do with this hand. Let's find a better concept artist than a finished sketch artist. To get smaller because it is going down. Just do two hands. There we go. Arm. Doesn't really matter because it's all just a rough sketch, anyways, right? Fix this. We do. Mickey Mouse glove hand going on, but that's okay because it is concept art. Okay. 
Okay, she's very excitedly giving a child a flower, I guess. This is what is going on in our last sketch. She's got a couple flowers then, I guess there's a couple children. Flowers in there. Boop, 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 boop. So she's got like a little... Okay, or something like that she's... Okay. With two hands, because why not? Okay. I think that is our last... One, maybe we'll just draw... Another little okay. Fill the space. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so there we have it. I think. That is all I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to come back and revisit um, the colors. So I'll probably come back and do some color scheme um, ones just with the same spread, but I'm going to try out the color scheme instead because honestly I haven't really thought about the colors at all for this particular character. I know her name, I know her style, I know what she does for a job, but I have no idea what colors she has. So that'll be fun to figure out and I think that's pretty much the next step. So yeah, there we have it. Hope you had a good time drawing along. Hope you did draw along and we'll see you next time. Bye!